Hi, Father Marshall Shelley here, coming to you from St. Peter's Church. This is the uh, parish garden, and uh, I'm doing something overdue. I am weeding out the bed that I'm responsible for this year, sweet potatoes, and uh, I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about what's happening in the life and ministry of the church. There's a lot going on. We just finished the big tent sale that was just over there and uh, our thrift shop is open right now. They're in the process of wheeling things in and out and cleaning out the bays of uh, things that have been stored, putting out new stuff, getting ready for switch over to fall in a few weeks. Also, we are back in the church and uh, for the first time we have a full house going into Sunday worship. We're very excited about that and uh, we look forward to sharing that fellowship with you. We're working on ways that we can improve our access to the service and for our community to be together. So please bear with us as we do that. As well, our community supper continues with the 411 feeding program. We are in the midst of offering Mondays and Wednesday meals, and we're getting ready to have a meeting uh, to organize our Sunday school experience for our younger members coming up this the next Thursday afternoon. So there's a lot going on in the life and the ministry of St. Peter's. I wanted to do, uh, also take a minute to draw your attention to our website, www.stpeters.org, stpeterspotswood.org, two S's in there. Um, please check that out. And also as well, we continue to offer daily office services for folks to uh, participate in the life and ministry of the church throughout the week. And please check out our YouTube channels. Of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're already a part of that community. But if you are watching this on our website, don't be afraid to go to the YouTube channel and sign up and participate in that as well. I want to thank all of our volunteers for working so hard in the garden this year, particularly Ralph Evans. He's our master gardener and really kind of the managing partner in this concern. We've already pulled out baskets and bushels of uh, squash and cucumbers as well as radishes. Um, we have hot peppers and winter squash and eggplant, which is right behind me here, growing as well as uh, sweet peppers over here. And then back up behind me, we have more squash coming in, summer squash, mostly yellow squash. So there's a lot going on here in the garden. I am actually cultivating sweet potatoes this year. Um, really a hardy plant, but it was kind of a challenge getting them in. Um, our supplier had some troubles in terms of making sure that we got healthy plants, but luckily we've got six good vines here that should provide us with a lot of food for our food pantry. Sweet potatoes are pretty easy to grow. They, don't, uh, they aren't subject to a lot of pests. You just have to give them enough space to root and to, uh, and to give them the uh, water and feed that they need to do what they have to do to grow. So this gets me to our word for the week. And the word for the week is necessity. Necessity. It's, it's in the colic this coming Sunday. And uh, it's about God knowing our necessities before we ask. One of the things that we tend to confuse in our lives is the difference between necessity and priority. Necessity are the things that we need to feel safe, to feel warm, to know that we have enough water to drink or food to eat or, or to have uh, provision for care for those we love. On top of those other necessities, though, comes that need for fellowship, for community, for connection. So. In the colic that we think of for this coming Sunday, we think we, we offer up to God who knows our necessities before we ask and, and even our ignorance in asking. Sometimes we ask for things that we think we need when really we need something else and God is there to help us sort that out. You know, one of the priorities that I experience in my life is finding the time to care for the things that I plant. I tend to be plant happy and not that great on the maintenance side. But I know that I need to spend more time not only in this garden for the parish, but also in my garden at home. What are the things that, uh, that you need to be aware of that are necessities in your life? Take some time this week and ponder those. And be aware that sometimes when we get too focused on the things we think we need, we can get caught up in, in a theology of scarcity rather than abundance. I'm deeply aware that we have good soil here. We have people that are passionate about providing food for others. We have good irrigation. We have plenty of heat and sunlight. And, uh, and really there isn't that much scarcity when it comes to this garden. But what we do need is the time and the care and the intention to tend it and to care for it. 
So please, uh, I urge you to think about necessity in your life and your ministry and the work and mission of your church. And I bid you peace and grace. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications when we have content coming online. We, of course, will be broadcasting services live on Sunday as we continue to do with the daily office throughout the week. For now, take care and God bless. And I'm going to get back to my weeding.